Hi everyone, I art journal page today and I'm using uh, just a sketchbook I have and I've got a lot of uh, acrylic inks that I don't use and they are starting to dry on me. I've got them like four years and it's about time I've used them. Most of them are Della uh, Rowney, <laughs> but I've got a few who from Amsterdam so I'm just going for a very very colorful uh, background and we'll just see what happens now if you don't have acrylic inks just take your uh, usual uh, craft paints acrylic paints and if you want them more flowish just add water so uh, acrylic inks uh, it's better to uh, you need to shake them before you use them and I'm not sure if I should have I probably should have gessoed uh, my page before so it won't absorb like that's what happened here it just uh, absorbed uh, right away instead of spreading on the page so I'm thinking let's take a minute to just gesso the page or it won't work let's hope I can do it quickly because I see it doesn't uh, work otherwise I want them to uh, move around my page and spread and not quickly absorb into the paper Okay, so we've got gesso coverage, I'll just turn on my heat tool so we won't uh, be here all day waiting for it to dry, although in this heat nothing uh, takes too long but all the same. Still seems wet to me, I don't know. Let's hope for the best because I don't have any patience. So again, this one is from Amsterdam and it's a pastello blue. Now let's see. Okay, that's more like it. That's what I was aiming for. Let it go around. Yeah. So as I said, this is going to be quite a colorful. I don't really care. I just want to put some this is Amsterdam light gold so let's see and here we go again I'm letting it also mix a little bit and Let's take this one. This one is Delaware Rony <laughs> and Scarlet. No control. It's just playing around. And I think I'm putting just a little bit too much water and I should probably do something about it so I'm taking a paper towel I, I've never used uh, the acrylic inks uh, this way so it's quite new to me
we'll see what happens. Maybe I should put water on like so and then drop a, some of the acrylic inks. Let's see. I don't know if it made any difference. No, it doesn't want to get out. So, I don't know, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> Too much out of control, I think. But I'm keeping uh, this at this and we'll see. I told you they are drying on me so a little bit difficult and I'm thinking maybe I should uh, let this dry because I've got really big puddles of water here and I don't know well, I'll, I'm going to try and make do. Maybe I'll uh, change the spray. Maybe it will get easier with this spray. I don't like it. Not what I was aiming for. So, uh, what to do, what to do, do I keep on or do I just, no, let's keep on, I don't know. working it <laughs> I should have uh, just uh, let it go <laughs> maybe because the surface is not a uh, straight I've put a towel underneath so it won't soak into all the other uh, pages in my sketchbook and now I'm creating mud or at least it seems like mud Big, big puddle. Oh my God. Not something I'm gonna repeat again. <laughs> Oh, 
Ok. I'm thinking I'm going to take this out like so and maybe then I can uh, save this page and do something with it just lighting it a little bit with the yellow and just a little bit more of the gold and the scarlet because I have mud here and just a little bit of the turquoise dark turquoise whatever now I'm going to spray this gently because I don't more more puddles at least not larger ones and this is it I'm going to let it dry as is I'm not going to put uh, any heat tool on it because it will just uh, move everything and create more mud between the colors and I don't want it I'm soaking a little bit more here and let's hope I can do something about it <laughs> I'll be back when it's dry I'm back so this is finally dry and there are areas that I really like and some that I don't like so I'm going to work on it and I'm planning on making all kinds of marks on top of the areas that I don't like and I've got here like a three a craft foam flowers that I adhere to this also foam cube and I'm using it as a stamp so my plan is to go in the areas that I don't like like all this mud that I've got here and add interest and cover most of the mud so I'm just putting some uh, acrylic uh, paint I've picked a light turquoise and putting a little bit on my flowers and just stamping where I don't like this mess like so and I'm going to repeat it in other areas of my page so there won't be it won't be a only in one area I want it to be interesting and cohesive all over uh, my page So here and let's put some down here going uh, out of the edges of my paper I think it makes it more interesting and another one here so this is just the beginning and let's pick something else to make marks on my page and I've got this this is some kind of wooden uh, uh, thingy uh, embellishment that I've picked in the cheap store and I thought it could be nice stamp so let's see if I can add now I'm picking up yellow And let's hope I'll have a nice print of it. I'm using uh, the yellow uh, because I've already got yellow on my page and also I want to lighten several uh, areas on my page. So 
so this is going to be right now really busy and I'm planning uh, to make it more busy and then tone it down <laughs> well at least that's my plan right now so uh, this is quite nice and let's see if I can stamp it just I want another one a little bit here and let's see if I can make a print it's a problem because I've got he this here okay quite a uh, nice and now I want to find another uh, thing to make a mark and let's see what else do I have some uh, dots that I've again this is craft foam and I've just put them like a flower I'm taking red again I'm taking a um, paints that I've got in the background and repeating them with the uh, making marks or prints or whatever you want to call it in areas that I don't have ha red I will not put red on top of red still want something more let's see maybe some circles let's find some kind of lid this is so not planned so I'm taking just a some kind of lid I have got and again with the turquoise I really like it so I'm going to put it around my page where else let's make more more circles Okay, so I'm changing and I want another circle and I hope to find something smaller and I want to spend more of the yellow because I really think it brightens my page. So putting a little bit more of the yellow and let's see i've got this uh, this was a cap for a felt pen and now i'm noticing i've got some like flower on this side maybe let's see if it will make a print Ooh, this is nice haven't noticed this before And it really helps to brighten all these muddy areas. I don't really care if I have an accurate crisp uh, print. I just want to make a lot of interest and as I said lighten areas that I don't really like. Let's see, here, 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 <laughs> mud, mud, and more mud, where all the colors uh, combine together. Okay. 
I really like this uh, small flowery print. And I'm thinking now I'm uh, switching for uh, the underside and adding yellow circles. Again, this is not planned and I'm more trying to save now my uh, page and create something nice out of it. It seems like all this muddy area that I didn't like is turning out to be quite nice and this area that is lighter and not as muddy is less interesting this is more dramatic so <laughs> there is something to say about creating mud <laughs> who knew okay so I'm leaving this to dry. I really like it as a background with all the details and I, I'm waiting for this to dry and then I do something on top of it. I'll be back. I'm back. So next stage for this page I was thinking first of uh, using again one of my stencil like uh, this one but then I figured I want some freehand and I'm just going to uh, draw some leaves and I thought it was completely dry and it's not and I'm going to ruin, ruin another permanent marker just figures so I'm planning on just drawing freehand branches with leaves all over this page and you can use any kind of stencil that you like on any busy background like this this is uh, again just the beginning I and I keep repeating myself Take a branch here. Just flipping it so it would be easier for me. Like so. And let's do another one here and I'm thinking if I want another one more leaves here or do I want to leave it here for some kind of writing I'll leave it be for now what I really want to do is work on the contours of this uh, plant that I've just uh, made and I want to paint inside the, the leaves and bring it down and doing it more subtle and I'm going to take and uh, this is deco art uh, early spring green and I'm just going to take this and color the leaves on the inside If it will decide to cooperate, 
then I can do it. Okay, let's see. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'll color on the inside first and then work on the contours in because if I do some, if I uh, do a mistake or it will uh, get away from me, then I can fix it with the black uh, permanent marker. So right now I'm just coloring on the inside. And I think it already uh, is popping up from the page and also toning it down. So I really like it. just going over where I think it needs another layer of paint Just going over in several places, and I'm th I think I'll just leave it be. I need for it to dry before I continue. And I'm thinking if I want something in uh, writing here, I will use the same paint to block some area that would be uh, lighter and then I'll stamp something on it so I'll leave it be for now let it dry and I'll come back I'm back so the leaves are dry and I all uh, only uh, went uh, around them and just made the black uh, stem more prominent and the contour more uh, visible on my page and I really like the leaves but they kind of look flat so I'm I'm thinking of adding a little bit of uh, like shading but I don't want to use any more wet paint so I'm going to take this ink pad this uh, dark green ink pad and with a q-tip just add a little bit to each of the leaves like so of course I could have done it with an acrylic paint but right now I'm kind of uh, don't want to uh, wait for any uh, other thing to get dry so <laughs> that's what I'm using And I think it ties really nicely, this green uh, ties uh, nicely with areas that I have this kind of color in the background, so it works all the way.
I can probably could have tried doing the same thing with a brush but I wasn't sure it will work so I'm using the q-tip and quite nicely it works quite nicely so I'm finished with this and now I want to put some writing here and I've got this stamp set from Stamperia and I want to use this one the real joy in life is in its play because this is all playing and what I figured is it's going to go here and I want it on a lighter background so what I'm going to do is place it here take the permanent pen and trace around it very carefully so now I'm going to a uh, color uh, inside here with the same color I've used for uh, the flowers and again I need it to cooperate with me <laughs> Just a little bit. Instead of trying uh, for the paint to come to me, I just open the lid and <laughs> that's it. Why struggle with it? okay so we've got this it needs to get dry and I'll I leave this be and I still want to add something in uh, to the background and I've got this stamp set from Stamperia again and I'm thinking adding a little bit of those uh, black uh, leaves all around and it will be uh, the shape is really um, like what I've done so I think it will all work together let's hope so at least let's take one here we go and it doesn't want to stick to my acrylic block so I'm just putting a little bit of a glue stick things there are just days that things don't want to work okay we've got the stamp and I'm using Momento Tuxedo Black and uh, the ink pad and going around my page And I'm trying to uh, move it around so it won't be uh, boring and too much repetitive. Flipping it over. I think it's a... Um, framing my page quite nicely and adding some dimensionality to the whole page again flipping it so and do I leave it be here <laughs> or trying to stamp it let's try and stamp it only without the acrylic block because it will just get here in the way with the spell I'm 
trying here. <laughs> Let's see. Just a little bit more. Something is like ticking and rattling on my desk and it's driving me nuts. Yeah. So we've got this. What is it? And all I'm left is here. And I just want to again go around. making it more defined and now to stamping I need an acrylic block for the stamp And again, using the same acrylic, uh, <laughs> the same ink pad, the black ink pad. Let's hope I can manage. Putting pressure, I wanted to stamp nicely. And we have success. I can't believe it. It worked everything worked from a messy muddy page i really like it very dramatic page who, who <laughs> didn't think it will turn out this way so i really like it i hope you do too <laughs> and you will try your hand and i don't know maybe make mistakes like i did with the acrylic uh, inks and thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video Bye for now.